Hey guys, thanks for watching TFB TV. I'm Joel. Today what I've got for you, two identical Seekins SP10s, except that this one is in 6.5 Creedmoor and this one is in 308. We're gonna find out at what point the 6.5 Creedmoor becomes better than the 308. Guys, let's start this off by giving the 308 its proper due respect. Uh, clearly the 762 cartridge and its variants have been used by militaries the world over for generations uh, to fight wars, uh, by sportsmen to kill animals. Uh, that hasn't changed. It will never change. Uh, the 308 isn't going anywhere just because the 65 Creedmoor came around uh, or 65s in general. Um, but the 308 is a very usable, uh, shootable caliber. Um, no complaints whatsoever as far as that's concerned, and you will get no disrespect coming from me uh, towards the 308, uh, especially as used um, by our military in battles and winning battles the world over. So I just wanted to start off by saying that. So let's talk very briefly about the 6.5x55 just because historically it's been around a long time too, fought many battles as well. It was produced in 1894 uh, by the Swedish. Uh, you might be familiar with the M98, the Swedish Mauser used in there. They chose it because it was very efficient um, at longer range, had lower recoil than other things they tested it against. So um, it's a very uh, venerable and easy shooting cartridge as well. So now let's get into my findings uh, and the rest of the video. Guys, as you can see, I've got a heck of a nice uh, thousand yard range to work with. Um, what you can see in the scope here is uh, targets from 700, 800, 900, and 1,000 yards. And I'm going to be shooting um, the 308 and the 6.5 uh, down at distance here. Uh, I'm going to use the silhouette targets for the 6.5, and I'm going to use the, the larger square targets for the 308 simply because I think that the wind is going to push the 308 a little bit more. So uh, once I do that, we'll be able to compare the groups uh, on the plates downrange and see what we get. If you've never done a comparison like this, um, the main thing that you're going to notice between shooting a 308 and a 6.5 Creedmoor is that the Creedmoor has less recoil. Um, these rifles are just about the same weight. Um, I personally own the Seekins SP-10 in 308. Uh, you know, we can make a 308 feel like lighter recoil than a 6.5 Creedmoor just by making the, the rifle heavier. But these were, these were fairly comparable, and so it was easy to tell that the 6.5 had lighter recoil uh, than the 308. So I want to show you a ballistics charts here between the 308 and the 6.5 Creedmoor because I think the ballistics is really the meat and potatoes of this video. It's kind of where the rubber meets the road, what it comes down to. Now, in my findings of shooting both of these rifles at the range the other day, um, from literally 100 yards all the way out to 1,000, uh, what I noticed and what I can point out here on the ballistics charts is that the drop and the wind uh, between the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308 are very similar out to 600 yards. So at about 700 yards is where we start to see the most difference. Now, you've got mills on the screen in front of you for both of these rifles. I'm going to translate that into inches um, just so you can kind of get a, a better picture. A lot of people don't think in terms of angular measurements when they think in mills or MOA. So um, since we think in inches a lot, we'll go ahead and, and describe this in inches. So just starting with 700 yards. Um, you know, for the 6.5 Creedmoor, which is on your left there, and the 308, which is on the right, uh, at 700 yards. The 6.5 has 129 inches of drop and 18 inches of wind deflection, if that were a 5 mile an hour, you know, full value left to right wind. Compared to the 308, we've got 150 inches of drop with 23 inches of wind. Now, you know, standard torso of a, of a human being uh, is somewhere in the neighborhoods of, um, you know, 18 to 24 inches wide, something like that, depending on the, the person. So the big difference here is that I can hold edge of plate kind of with both of these rounds and might still get a hit uh, in that kind of wind. 
probably going to be off uh, the edge of the plate at 700 with the 308, but definitely not with the 6.5. And then as we go on out 800 yards, we've got uh, you know 184 inches of drop uh, with the 6.5 versus 214 inches of drop with the 308. So the the drop is already starting to distance itself. 308 is dropping a lot more wind there. Uh, you know, with the 6.5, we're at 24.7 inches of wind. We might still be able to just hold left edge of plate out there and still get a hit um, on that target. Whereas with the 308, we're out at 32 inches of wind. So we're definitely off of plate now at 800 yards. So this is where, you know, the efficiency of the 6.5 is starting to shine through. 900 yards, we've got 251 inches of drop on the 6.5, 297 inches of drop on the 308. Wind is 32 inches versus 42 inches. 1,000 yards, we've got 334 inches of drop, which is 27 feet of drop with the 6.5 Creedmoor, but we've got 399 inches or 33 feet of drop with the 308. And the wind deflection is obviously, um, you know, even greater. Both of those calibers, you know, you're, you're well off the side of the plate in order to get those hits. So as you can see, based on the ballistics alone, there's no denying that the 6.5 Creedmoor is more efficient at long range shooting than the 308. Can you get the same hits out to a thousand yards with both rifles? Yes. The answer is yes, you can. But the 6.5 does it a little bit more efficiently with, um, you know, considerable less recoil to the shooter. So for me, therefore, it makes a much better long range precision cartridge um, than the 308 does. But you can do the same job, so you know, make your own case. You can still continue to uh, to shoot the heavier recoiling 308 if you choose. I, for one, uh, have switched and will will continue to uh, to use the 6.5 Creedmoor uh, as a replacement for the 308. Guys, thanks for watching TFB TV today. This debate may go on forever. The 6.5 Creedmoor versus the 308. You know, 45 ACP versus 9 millimeter. I don't know. We'll have to see. For me personally, I can do the same work out to a thousand yards with the 308 as I can do with the 6.5 Creedmoor. That being said, there's less drop and less wind deflection with the 6.5 Creedmoor. There's no denying that it is better ballistically speaking. Guys, take a minute to thank our sponsor Ventura Munitions. They are awesome. Hit them up. Check them out. We'd love that. Also consider uh, supporting us through Patreon. That helps a ton. And tune in again soon for another great video from TFB TV.